following is a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Monday morning here. And I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. Obviously, if you woke up, you know the news is in your face. Got a little bit of change in the, the Greek situation. Um, but, but, you know, who knows if that's really going to actually happen. Um, we've got, you know, the request from basically Germany to place $51 billion in assets in a kind of a trust fund in a Luxembourg bank. I just, I just still don't see this happening. I mean, I, I see this continuing to be a uh, I mean they voted no pretty much I would say that's overwhelming over 60 percent to vote no to even stay in the euro but uh, the uh, guy that I love Cyprus is uh, pretty much totally capitulated and I think you know why would you not say anything at this stage just to kind of save yourself some more time you don't have to do what they're asking to do. You know, you can always back out. So I think it's just another slow play tactic. This is just my personal opinion. Um, and, uh, you know, I think the euro ultimately is just going to suffer. Um, I've got copper up right now on our screen. Let's just kind of go right to the euro. Um, by the way, I'm not the greatest mood today. I got to get a tooth pulled. So I've uh, been wrestling with that all weekend. So I don't smile as much today. That's the reason. Here we go. The weekly situation on the euro. This is, you know, the kind of been the long term story here. We've been talking about just, you know, bash this thing on the short side when you get a chance on real good, strong inflection points. These weekly unfair highs have been the, the most recent situation. Um, you know, we had a little bit of noise and, and got above that 112.25 area, but we talked about getting back into the water to reach targets again down below. If we cross, the border again 112.25 that's been the the nice area why is that the nice area that general neighborhood pocs on the weekly in that general area former unfair excuse me there we go former unfair highs on the daily never got there the other day other day and we talked actually friday about getting back down below you know in addition to being able to short against that general 112.25 neighborhood getting more conviction if we cross back down below the border of 111.46. This has all worked out very nicely. Trades don't always work out nicely, but this one, you know, you just feel the deep conviction that this thing is going to come unglued again on the downside. Um, and you got the profiles in your favor, kind of these technical fences, if you will, to lean against. Um, and, it, you know, again, I've gotten stopped out of this trade before, on the way up. I mean, I got stopped out of some trades, well, literally around that 112.25 area a couple of times. But, uh, you know, we actually reached another inflection point back in, you know, middle of June, so to speak. I uh, got into that 114.50 uh, area. No, one. Yes, 114. 114.50, yes. God dang it. Let me go back and check that. <clears throat> Here we go. There's the inflection point. 114.66.67. All right, didn't quite reach it, but again, you know, you get into those neighborhoods, the long term inflection points, you're not going to hit them to the tick a lot of times. Now you kind of got, in my opinion, you've got a grease deal supposedly done in their mind, but. You know, I don't, you know, my feelings on it, but uh, the whole thing's just a, kind of a kibosh right now. So, you know, we're looking at targets down below again, 109.82 long-term stops, in my opinion, have to be above 112.25. You've got a little bit more stingier stops now below above 111.46. And on the short term, just to kind of stay on the Euro, because I think, you know, you, you always want to, this is our 240 minute view, by the way, you always want to. You know, trade the instruments that are in play. You always want to devote a little bit of your portfolio 
a um, little bit of your portfolio to some riskier assets. And, you know, you, you always don't know, you know, just, uh, you know, paint, paint it ex as simply as I can. You don't want all your portfolio and being long stocks like G and waiting for the dividend. I think you need, especially in this day and time, you need to devote some portion of your portfolio to riskier trades, um, not a large percentage by any means. I did not say load the boat on the Euro shore right now, but you want to spread the risk out. I mean, just like in the software business that I, I do back in the Philippines, um, you don't, you might want one kind of anchor client, but you want to spread the risk around in business to multiple customers if you can. So somebody doesn't, you know, hold you by the the eggs, as they say it, and um, just the same in trading. I mean, you want to spread the risk out. You're not going to double your account one day. People who try to do that are going to go to zero. So uh, spreading the risk out, some of your devotion probably towards the euro. It's a little bit of a, a hairier situation than being long a GE or Procter & Gamble or whatever, but uh, you've got initial um, stops, in my opinion, above that one 111.82 now and why is that that is the excuse me 111.46 why is that that's the daily unfair highs i think that's a good stop um you you, you got 240s at 111.93 so the dailies are actually a little bit more stingier but what for very short-term traders here's our 60 minute we don't talk about this a lot i think we have to now we've got 111.46 there so you know, you got a really good, nice neighborhood between 111.50 to 111.80.90. Um, that's going to be some pretty serious resistance, but you don't want to give all this back. So you might want to, in this case, you know, just look at remembering that the POC, uh, the point of control in our kind of market profile view that we take. This is a pretty thin box. This POC is not going to be as relevant. But remember, this is kind of the top of the hill. This is, you know, you slide down one side and you slide down the other from the top of the hill. So this is a little bit more of a balance point within the balanced area. So this is kind of the rock arm. So you could orient stops being a little bit stingy here uh, above 110.80. And that would give yourself, what, 40, 40, Tips from uh, from where we're at right now, pre-market initial targets. Remember, 109.82 on the daily and on the short term, you've got 110.12 down here. I fully believe we're going to cave in and eventually get to par. That's not going to happen in one day, of course. So uh, remember those inflection points that we're speaking of. I think you've got nice leverage now on the short side. Some clear, clarified path at this stage. All these. You know, happy, ecstatic people that are, oh, God, the Euro's going to get saved and everybody's going to eat out of the same rice bowl and the guy's going to get the cheerleader at the end of the movie. I think all that is coming to an end. And actually, there's going to only be now damaging news that can come out because the viewpoint more than likely fundamentally at this stage is can there actually ever be any more good news? You know, I mean, like, you know, anything that Greece does now would be damaging news and therefore unsettling to the euro currency and therefore in my opinion you've got a nice little situation to short resistance points and sell breakouts so that's that's kind of my take on uh on what's going on with the euro and it's nice that it, seemingly it's showing its hand here right now um so that's that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> let's take a look at the yen again this is you know this has been This has been, uh, and somebody reminded me, uh, we've got a seminar, webinar, kind of educational situation on the scanner that I haven't even shown yet today, um, and all the components of it, and maybe how you would sit down and attack the day based on some of the information in the scanner, and what do you do first, and how do you use it, and what do you look for relative strength trade, and things like that. We're giving a webinar Wednesday, this Wednesday which is June 15th at 5.30 to 6.30, probably probably will run over to like 7, 7.30, in my opinion, because there's so many things to talk about. Tom O'Brien's going to be with me. And all you have to do to go to that webinar is to grab a demo of the newest C-sharp desktop 
version of the scanner, which is very cool in my opinion, <laughs> very helpful. I can't trade without it. Get a demo of it on the TFN Insight. If you've had a demo, you'll be automatically signed up for the webinar. You'll receive information on it. And if you've already signed up for a demo and it's expired, I think we set it at 14 days. There's no credit card involved or anything. You know, feel free to go to that webinar. I, I don't think we've done the best job in the world of educating folks probably how to use that. So we're going to try to clear the air, clarify some things. I'm starting to use the word clarify a lot lately, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. Um, and just basically deal with you know, the, the heart and soul of that product. And you can call in during the webinar. You can type in questions. Um, you can call in to the TFNN show right now, one eight seven seven. Oh my God. I'm going to get it wrong again. Let me, let me pull it up. Al's going to kill me if I say this number wrong one more time. All right, we'll get that up for you in just a second. I'm just very hesitant that I will be berated by Al if I say the wrong number. And that's a very scary situation. 877-927-6648. If you, if you guys don't know Al, he, he basically runs every show uh, on TFNN. He does an unbelievable job. He's very, very, you know, by the book, uh, keeps everybody on the same page. Uh, he's just a joy to have um, in the background here, and I can't say enough about what he does. He's the guy who kind of technically makes it happen in the background. So uh, that's off to Al all the time. Here's the Japanese yen. Um, you know, we talked about this situation here. This is something to not short ever, in my opinion, until we really get long-term technical breakdowns, which as you have seen since we, you know, this actually since we started this show, and I think I started this show and I want to say like maybe summer last year, we've talked about 101.33 being the long uh, leverage point, buying support, buying support, buying breakouts. This is another situation. Turn the rents the same way. You got a maximum leverage point around 121.44. I got stopped out of this trade temporarily, got back in. We talk about that all the time. It's okay to take losses and get back in the trade even higher on buys. And we talked about the conviction of the yen getting back above 122.18. Then we're really in the right mode. We're, we bounced off the weekly. We got back up at least into the balanced area of the daily. Then I can orient stops a little bit higher. Guess what, though? We're reaching a little bit of a target-rich environment here on new profiles today. Unfair highs, 123.39. Pay attention to that. We're going to talk about it a little bit more when we come back to break. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS as proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. 
Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Um, we were taking a look, and it's a little dark here today in North Carolina. Stormy. Don't know what's going to happen. It's been hotter than <laughs> Could use a number of those. Uh, very hot here lately. Uh, 123.39, unfair highs on the yen. That, you know, that's where you say, okay, we had a good run. We've made some good, call, good calls with this. As easy as it has been seemingly with not fighting government intervention. Remember, you don't want to do that not this day and time. Um, and you've got the 123.39 targets up top that you've met here on the daily. Now, I think it's just on the long-term trade, you might want to keep some on the table, but the, you know, the, the kind of the way I'm looking at it is I can always buy breakouts. I can buy support again. And uh, I'm going to be happy with making after that 121.44 across the border, making about 200 pips in this. And I'm not going to, Look a gift horse in the mouth, as somebody pointed out what that meant a long time ago on the show. And uh, I've actually forgotten what that means, but I just love saying it. So so uh, on the end, this is the uh, the short term. But remember, long term inflection points take precedence. And we're going to actually go to the scanner. We're going to go to our Forex section. And by the way, we had some technical things going on last week with some off exchanges. All the U.S. stuff was spot on. We had some. We got our, uh, just to let you know, we got our breadths all updated um, as far as the breadth charts. So as we look at these, you'll see them all updated. We've got a price chart down below. I'm just thinking of thing is, things as we go here. We've got a price chart that kind of allows you to see what happened during that time frame. And right now, if you uh, zoom in, it's not going to actually correlate. These are two different um, pieces of code here. 
that we wrote. We're actually correlating these in the next week or two. So when you zoom in, you'll see where the crossovers are. You'll see how the index or the ETF in this case acted during those crossover points um, as a guy, Mike, out of Oakland had called in last week and just kind of um, said that, oh, you know, that's where the that's where the changes are ch or, you know, sea changes, the tide, if you will. I love connecting those two words. Um, <laughs> that's where the tides are actually changing. And uh, the internals of the marketplace, the underlying instruments are kind of showing that disconnect possibly in what the index value is doing in the uh, the rest of the pack, so to speak. So. Going back to the Forex section of the scanner, we just added actually about 20 to 25 new pairs. Um, so guys who are trading some of the off-the-wall ones, uh, they're in there now, hopefully. And, and please send in suggestions. Um, here's the uh, the text situation on the long-term view, the intermediate-term view, and the short-term view. If you click on Taz Says over there, it kind of gives you a little bit of a dissertation. But uh, the inflection points that I've been speaking of, there's that 121.44 as I'm showing in the scanner right now. Uh, as you mouse over the cells, you get those inflection points. There's that top of the daily profile that just appeared today being met 123.39, as you can see. And there's the uh, short-term inflection points. And here's the landscape view. This is the level of the market. And as you can see, we have gotten right into that inflection point there. And that's going to more than likely, I'd say, probabilities say that that's going to be somewhat of a resting point and a target for a little bit. Um, I think the end's going to go much higher, but uh, again, you know, we're traders. We're trying to massage this particular trade, and the yen been betty, betty good to me, as Garrett Morris would say. And I hope you guys have uh, picked up a couple of points off that. Here's our index profile heat grid, and, and right now I'm going to have to verify with Michael. Uh, we have quite a bit of live data in here, especially in the U.S. exchanges and U.S. futures. I think today we actually have turned on live data, live data, which creates live derivatives of all the signals, if you will, that happen on this scanner in every exchange up here. So you've got 16 different exchanges plus ETFs in the U.S. situation uh, that are giving you live crossover data, live sell updates, live display level of the marketplace uh, as they happen in real time. So, you know, it's kind of cool because you can go in here and I'm just going to go in. I'm going to I'm going to select right now. I'm on the um, the, the S&P 500. I'm going to I'm going to select if you wanted to the tie set 100. I'm going to add that in here. I'm going to add the uh, Shanghai 180. That creates a ton of instruments in the same basket that I can do sorts off of, for one thing. For another thing, we're going to talk about when we come back from this break. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out, and throughout the week when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. We were finishing up, so we we're actually talking about the scanner when we left and some some filters and sorts. But uh, what I want to do is I want to clear all this. Uh, I want to go back. Well, actually, let me go back to my index grid here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on one hour. And what that does is it basically allows you to see and we again we had just like the new york stock exchange i'm going to use that as the excuse of all times um as the parallel excuse uh we had a couple of things uh that were not updated historically last week not on the u.s stuff but on the uh on the foreign situation because we were switching to a live feed on a lot of these and, and guys trust me there is a ton of stuff going on in the background on our servers to actually crunch all this information get it on the screen to you um we don't give live prices on this particular product but we do give live levels of the market which uh when i go into any stock i showed you before i won't show you again you get a demo you'll see it yourself go to the landscape charts on the uh filtering page on the uh dashboard and you'll see it but I put this on a 60-minute breadth ranking system, and what this does is it, it's a heat grid that basically ranks the most powerful 60-minute um, versions of our breadth indicator, which, again, if you haven't been watching the show or 
looked at a couple of videos that we have. It, it's basically looking at the internals of the index and calculating, and I'm just going to go to, I'm just going to pick the Shanghai 60 minute. It's letting you know that 112 stocks out of the Shanghai 180 are trading. This is the Shanghai 180, by the way. It's not the Shanghai 380. Again, it's a little bit more of the leaders or the higher weighted stocks. 112 of the stocks in the Shanghai are trading above 60 minute profiles. 37 are trading below. So that this is a uh, kind of a breadth crossover system for every time frame. And this 60 minute crossover in itself, forget profiles on the index altogether for a second. This is a great change in tone and this doesn't happen too often during each day um, but it's a it's a system in itself so you see the FTSE the earth stocks 60 here's the s p's right where here there's the s p's there's 299 stocks trading above 60 and, and as you know the futures are gapping up this morning a lot of stocks haven't opened but if you watch this during the day uh, coupled with, in my opinion, some of the inflection points that we talk about on the index itself, and we're going to go into that, these short-term momentum changes in the breadth indicator in itself on a short-term basis are great, great systems. And we've actually, I showed you guys last week, and I can show you again if, if anybody wants to see this, they can just chime in on the DIN. That's one of the benefits of being a DIN is being able to communicate immediately is to, is I can show you the back test results for a lot of these and um, some of these indices are just incredible I mean proof of concept really needs to be defined by looking across in this instance multiple exchanges to test your theory and the proof of concept is there with this you know indicator in itself and um, when you couple that with and again let's just kind of go back to the core Thing that I talk about all the time. Let's go back to our daily and weekly. Let's look at the S and P's. You know, this morning we may change into a breath positive as some of these stocks open on the S and P on the uh, on the daily breath indicator. Uh, the weekly is still negative. It probably will stay negative. So we're going to kind of still take that long term view of a um, little bit bearish overtone. I think the Greek thing is over. Uh, you know, this, the Chinese are rigging their market as we speak. So. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but here, here's the here's the weekly situation. We passed this 2075 area. We talked about that being the next area to look at from the short side on Friday, and at three o'clock, I think we had bounced off 2074.75 and come down a couple of points. But remember, we've been talking religiously actually about not being in these types of trades overnight because anything can happen. You know, the Chinese can you know say something. Very beneficial to the market, possibly detrimental to the U.S. market. The Europeans could look what's happened over this weekend. And uh, these type of gaps, you just want to avoid. And we're probably going to continue to have these type of gaps. And I'm talking gaps 15, 20, possibly 25 S&Ps either way. So, again, you wake up this morning, um, you're, you're looking at the 75 area still. If you try to leverage against that. It's, you know, stop out time, and that's okay. Uh, but here we are now. Here's that 75 area on the 240s. We've crossed it. We need to sit tight on this thing right now. The other day, we talked about sitting tight and waiting until we cross the borders back down below. That worked out very well. Right now, the next level up that you really need to pay attention to for resistance is 2091.92. All right? So that's the next area to sit tight, wait pick a battle possibly there from the short side or let's get back down below 75 and let's keep our eye on the breadth all right so if we're mixed up on the breadth on the daily and weekly that to put it no other way than that sucks it's, it's, it's so non-directional and wishy-washy if the weekly stays negative and we're up at that 91 area no matter what the daily's doing i'm still looking at 91 as a very good ripe opportunity to short can this thing go higher yes keep your stops in but uh if we get near 75 again and the market's open and the breaths have kind of coincided on the on the downside especially the 240 um, which is now positive i think you've got some ripe opportunities for some follow-through back down below 75 again all right so here's the uh Here's the weekly breath. 
again, we're not in super danger here. We crossed over negative. We're staying negative. Remember, that hasn't even happened on the negative side. We initiated September 26th, and then we crossed over October 24th. We stayed positive until basically around the, you know, the June 4th area, I believe. So that was a pretty big day. I'm going to stick with it, stick with the guns for a while. You know, taking this attitude has worked out relatively well. We've, you know, again, every trade's not going to work out. Stops are going to have to happen. But uh, it's nice, nice little guidance system in the scanner along with the filtering that's built in. So uh, we're going to take a look at we're going to take a look at I was just reading something in the den. We're going to take a look at the somebody asked me to take a look at the spiders. Now I feel a little handicapped you know it's a long I don't, I'm going to try to make this short but as you guys know the spiders don't trade overnight and in past years overnight trading i think a lot of times you could have thrown that out because they were just you know it wasn't a lot of valid trading being done overnight now you can't ignore it i mean that is this is a 24-hour situation and therefore when you miss volume and price action overnight and you don't and you're not able to incorporate that into the profiles in my opinion properly uh, using profiles on the spiders are not exactly as um, it's not exactly a, a, a greater a great idea I mean right now obviously this is trading below where let me see hold on let me see where we're at I mean we're just missing data so I'm I'm actually a big fan of if you can use the scanner uh, to basically, I'm going to go into our futures section. This is real time now. I'm going to go down to our, and by the way, we've got the volatility index in here now, the VIX. I'm going to go to my S&P. Well, where is it? There we go. S&P up there. And I'm able to get these inflection points that we've literally just been speaking of. Namely, there's that 20, 91, 92 area, bottom of the, daily profile, I feel, which is an extremely ripe area to sell, along with getting back down below 75, that POC on the weekly. There it is. You can get all this information in the scanner. It's done for you. You don't have to pay for the CME data feed. We're kind of giving you the major derivative inflection points. And to answer your question on, uh, was it uh, my, uh, no, who asked, who asked the question about the spider? Spider, spider. Mixter. I, you know, I'm not a big fan of using the profiles as much on the spiders as I am with the futures. And again, you don't have to subscribe to a futures data feed. You just go in the scanner and, uh, as they say in North Carolina, viola. There, there's the inflection points. And here's the complete 24 hour trading utilized in computing the profiles and delivering you this information. Um, so I'm a big fan of of uh, using the futures data um, to calculate the profiles instead of looking at the spider levels, if you will. So, I mean, it, there's, a, there's a much richer, deeper, better way to get profiles other than trying to gather them on the spiders and i don't know if everybody wants to hear that but the cool thing is is the scanner is going to give it to you all right let's look at oil really quick and then we're going to look at some stock picks we don't have a lot of time left today i've been running my trap as usual here we go okay so we talked about this last week we talked about as that orange bar appeared and we we go into the scanner we go to oil Let's just look at WCI, WTI crude oil. We had a yellow peelback happening on our daily. We said, you know what? That's an indication we're going to have a new demand area appearing, and uh, we're going to have a new uh, set of inflection points and a new profile. So the bottom of this profile, 5149, let's call it 5150, top 5422. So let's go back into our charts. There's that 5422. There's the 5149. Remember, Though, that's our new balance area. So this is, you know, something again. I think we reached a low of 51.26. So not to the tick, but again, support provided 
by the profiles and a target rich environment on the downside if you you know we i want to say so much i trip myself up here but you know the, the the bearish tone on crude oil is still there right there's the weekly getting down below 56.43 big time inflection point on the weekly as you can see these things are very powerful but as we have a new demand area down here, we're just looking at this now with the long-term trend defined down in crude oil. you got to keep turning the rents the same way. Remember that until you're told differently with any kind of technical damage. Maximum selling points are 54.22, and breakdowns closes below 51.49. In my opinion, now you've got to use 51.49 as resistance. But what do you do now? Let's drill down into a lower time frame, and let's look at that on the scanner. Let's just kind of... Again, here's WTI crude oil. Here's the, here's the uh, inflection points for the 240s. Bottom of the box, 52.15. Let's look at the landscape view. There we go. So what are we doing? We're ramping back up into a short-term inflection point. We're right there. There's a level of the market. Real-time derivatives of the data don't need to subscribe to the uh, real-time data if you don't want to. Here's... Here's the situation on crude oil. So we've gotten into, I'm sorry, we had a new profile just output here. We've gotten into those most recent unfair lows on the on the previous profile. This is actually a new profile, literally just popped up. So we're getting into some resistance here on the short term. And I've thrown out a lot of numbers here on crude. The fact of the matter is, even though we've had a new demand area pop up, this is a little bit of a resting point. Sell breakdowns below 51.49, especially closes stops above 5149 and right now you've got short-term resistance right now for short-term traders but again i'm a big fan just me personally of trading the longer term inflection points and waiting patiently until the market either breaks down on those long terms or the market comes to me at an area that i feel that i have leverage and maximum probabilities in my favor so that's the situation on crude oil. Long-term slant, to sum it up, still bearish. Got a little bit of a, a resting period, possibly, with a new profile that appeared. We knew that was going to happen on Friday, and uh, that's the way that ball bounces. Let's go back to the – excuse me. I want to I look at copper here really quick. This is uh, something you know, just, just got kind of out of control on the downside. Here's the weekly, but let's figure out how to trade this. Again, pierced through kind of recent lows and, and got away from there really quick. But guess what? The long-term trend's still down. There's no new profiles appearing on the weekly. And, and guess what? New profile appeared above price action on the daily. So now look at this. You've got leverage points here pretty much coincidental with previous unfair lows. You've got lows at 2.5728. Looking like it wants to you know not get through that level. The cool thing is on this – Stay with the – I know you've like, well, God, copper's been down, 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 down. Now it's in the hole. Things on their lows go lower. This thing can go lower. Uh, Chinese data was a little better than uh, people ex were expecting. but uh, And that's the build-out place of all times. If you don't believe me, just take a flight over there. 2.5728. Now can, stops can be oriented above on copper and – Long-term trend is still in force down. We'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com.
or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, Gartley's, Butterflies, ABC's, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see next on TFNN. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Um, a couple of questions people are asking about... And I hope you guys like the background. I like a when I'm trading a like a outsidey kind of feel. So I thought you guys might enjoy this. I'm going to try to make it better, so it's a little more appealing to look at. Hopefully, I got the got the bull and bear things right here, um, and I want to take note that the bullhorn of the bull statue did break off last week, and I'm going to just kind of take that as a sign. I hope you do too. Hope the breast stays negative so we can uh, pounce on that. But uh, one of the questions uh, involved profiles appearing above price action. The other question was, are we going to add a gold ETF to the ETF section in the scanner? Yeah, well, you know, what we did for the, you know, just to get this thing going, I mean, we have the nine major spider ETFs. If you go to spdr.com or whatever it is, you know, these are the, the main sectors, not ex extremely, you know, super detail defined on like the you know like somebody asked about the gold etf a gold etf what we'd love to have is if you guys could send some emails in a tfnn any etfs that you actually want us to try to calculate and put into the system 
we're ready. I mean, we've got about five new ones that are going in. One of them actually happens to be a gold ETF breadth situation where you can come in, drill down just like the XLE stocks, quickly get into these things. Um, what an ugly situation this is. Tesoro Petroleum, talked about that last week being one of the superstars. And uh, actually, Phillips 66 PSX, that was another one that was not doing too bad. But the scanner kind of lets you know all this really quick. And uh, it's nice to be able to see the breadth on these situations, knowing that tide of the marketplace is turning on certain sectors or indices so yeah we're putting a gold etf in i want to go back into our heat map grid and then go back to to uh copper here one of the things you know we broke below profiles really quickly long-term resistance was 2.8688 on on copper and then we look towards the next time frame down to regulate the trade down now what does that mean that means that, you know, we just look towards inflection points, confirmations, and, and these are kind of the battle lines, if you will, to choose to pick areas to make trades, basically. So recently on copper, that 2.6518 was a big one, the breakdown below. And then um, if you want, you can even drill down even farther into the 240s. And then we had that orange bar appear on the 240s. That meant a new demand area was getting ready to happen. That's all in the scanner. I'll let you know with those orange peelbacks. But, uh, you know, the question, I believe, was, you know, what are these profiles appearing above price action actually mean? <laughs> um, it, you know, it, if, we're, if we have price and then a profile appears above price, that's bearish. That's the black and white version. If we have price and a profile appears below price action, that's bullish. And that means that the price of the instrument actually acted so quickly that the profile couldn't catch up with it and therefore that supply up top really comes into play as even more resistance so when that happens you know you you basically take it for i mean i by default i'm looking to sell resistance even more so now this action where copper's kind of floating around and and not wanting to necessarily get completely away from this inflection point it's a little concerning but the good news is the good news is that the long term is still relatively bearish with no weekly new profiles attempting to appear. And you've got an area to orient stops around. And then you've got another area to orient stops around as long as that weekly stays relatively bearish. So, again, long term view on copper. And then you've got the intermediate in the 240s. And you've got big time resistance around 2.5746 down into 2.5728 on copper. Stops above, guys. Thank you. Stay tuned. I believe Larry is next, and uh, if you've never seen him or heard him, you'll thoroughly enjoy it. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.